Tech orders. Welcome to part 11 of Laravel with Livewire series. In our previous video, we understood the concept of service container, service provider and view composers. In this video, we are going to familiarize ourselves with a concept called eloquent relationships. So let me just take you to, let's view one of the products. Now this is the products detail page. Now if you notice over here, we are seeing the category ID over here. Now we have to replace this category ID with the category name. In our previous video, we utilized View Composer because we wanted to bring in all the categories that are currently in our database table to be displayed in a drop down list. But over here, we don't want to bring in all the categories. We are interested in getting the name of the category whose category ID is 2 because that is the category to which this particular product belongs to. So when the requirement is as such, then we utilize another concept provided by the Laravel which are called relations. Eloquent relations. There are many relations such as one to one, one to many, the inverse of one to many and all of these. Then there are polymorphic relations as well, these ones. So names are same but they are polymorphic. So we will not be covering the whole concept. What we will be covering is this one to many and its inverse that is belongs to. So we will be covering these two relations. And what does these relationships represent? Well, basically these relationships represents how one database table is related to another table in the same database. As in our case, we have two tables. One is called categories and other is called products. So each product that we have in our products table has some kind of relationship with the categories table. That is, each of these products belong to one of the categories in the categories table. So this way, our products table has belongs to relationship with the categories table because all of these products belong to one of the categories in the categories table. Likewise, the relationship that the categories table have with the products table is that each of those categories in the categories table may refer to multiple products that is more than one product in the products table. For example, this product P1 has category ID 3 and product P3 and product P4 also have category IDs 3. That means all of these three products belong to this particular category ID which is category ID number 3. And the category ID number 3 represents boys. So this boys category is one category but it has many products in the products table. So this is the kind of relationship one to many. That one particular row in the categories table may have many products in the products table. So this is a kind of relationship and when we create eloquent models all of those models have already built in functions defined within them that we can utilize to explicitly define this relationship in the code. So currently this relationship exists in our minds mentally. Now we are going to make it explicit and to make it explicit we are going to utilize functions that are by default provided to us by the virtue of eloquent models. All of our database tables are eloquent models. Let's open up those models. First let's start with the category model. Okay so this is our model. Let me remove these comments. Now we have to make that relationship explicit. So for that we are going to utilize those methods that are already provided to us by Laravel. Now to define this relationship we have to create a function. You can give any name to this function. However, the convention is the name should match the table with which you are creating this relationship. So in our case, we are creating a relationship with the products table. So we are going to give it the same name. This is not an application, however. Now inside this function body, we have to define the actual function. So to define this function, we are going to set this. And since this is an eloquent model, so it already has a function. We have to simply call it which is called has many because the relationship that we are defining at the categories table end is each category can have many products. So we are calling this method has many. Now this has many method takes another eloquent model as a parameter with which we actually want to create a relationship. So in our case, we want to create a relationship with the products table. So product class. Now this class needs to be imported. Let's 
put semicolon and it seems to have already been imported imported no import class there it is okay now we have just created this relationship but we have to make sure that we return this relationship as a value otherwise it won't work okay so this is one part we have defined a relationship at the one end of the categories table now let's go to the other end which is the products table so product model and over here we have to repeat the same thing but with a different relationship so public function and now over here we want to create a relationship with the categories table so even though the database table name is categories but since one product belongs to one category so we are going to make it singular so category now inside the body return this belongs to and the class name is category class did it get imported no import class okay that's it so this is our back end so this is the logic that we had to define at the back end now for the front end since this information is being displayed in the views of each of the products so let's open up show.blade.php associate with the products table so we have to go to the category uh, where is category okay there it is now over here it's currently displaying category id now what we are going to do over here is that we are going to call a dynamic property so when we define any kind of relationship on our relocant models those relationships are available to us as dynamic properties so since within this products table the name that we have given is category single so let's use the same name but without these parentheses because when we define any method that actually represents a relationship then we have to kind of call this function but without parentheses so when we call a function without parentheses we say this is a dynamic property so let's see what it prints in our front end okay let's refresh view now over here rather than displaying the id it's displaying all the details the whole row in the from the categories table so id is 3 name boys status active created at updated at. so what basically this dynamic property did was that since it is a dynamic property so laravel went back to the database but this time to the categories table rather than the products table and over there it is looking for a row whose primary key which in our case is id by the way matches with the reference key in the products table and if you remember the reference key in the products table is named category underscore id so basically laravel is searching for a row in the categories table whose id is matched with the category underscore id in the products table so laravel automatically extracted this whole row and it's displaying over here okay so now since we are only interested in knowing the exact category the name of the category so what we are going to do is that we are going to make some changes over here now since we know that this portion actually contains whole row so from here we are going to chain in and ask for name property or name column so now if you notice it has already been replaced by the name okay let's go back let's view this one this is also boys let's go back the last one we know it's it belong to girl or baby yeah it belongs to baby we created this product in our last video okay 
So this is the overall underlying concept behind relationships. Now this relationship is a vast concept. We are not going to get distracted because we have a project to complete as well. If you are interested, you can go to the Laravel documentation and read all about them. So this is the end of our shortest video in this series so far. I hope you did like it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe and comment as well. Thank you so much.